Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Force Resurrection of Dark Dragon. This time we're gonna stay in the emulator. Alright, uh, there is one thing I could have put at the end of the last video that I didn't do, but we'll we'll do now. We come and we talk to Arthur! You're the ones fighting against Runefost, aren't you? I'd like to try my hand at fighting. Yes. We're not gonna. Uh, God, I hate the. I hate that noise. I hate that noise. God, I hate that noise. And we get Arthur's card just for having him join us. He's he's worth it. We're we're fine with that. Uh, how many people do we have in the force? Let's take a look at Arthur, shall we? HP 11, what level is he? He's level, he's level 4. Oh. Son of a bitch. But that tells you what level you're supposed to be at in this game. If this is any indication like other Shining Force titles. Which I'm beginning to believe it's not. Alright, so... We get to head back to Rindo. No... No battles on the way back to Rindo this time. Thankfully. Alright, so let's see... We didn't buy... Uh, can we buy anything new now? Um... Uh, we can buy a spear, hand axe... Uh, no. I don't know if that's actually stronger than what we've got. Probably not. Let's see. No. No. Nope. It's worse than what we've got. So, yeah. We might give Arthur a spear two. But Arthur's got... Well, Arthur will learn magic, so... I'm not too worried about that. Actually, one thing I'm gonna do while I'm here is I'm gonna sell! Sell, sell, sell. We've got a bunch of stuff that needs to go away. Middle sword can go away? And all of those, uh... Wooden... No, we're not selling the healing seeds. We'll sell the wooden stabs, though. Nope, that's it. Alright, let's find an item shop so we can stock up on some... ...healing herbs. Let's see, we want... Ooh, what are... I didn't see. Charm Ring. Protected by weak magic can reduce magic damage. Ooh. That's actually kind of useful, given the number of mages we're going to be going up against here in the near future. We're going to go ahead and buy ten. I kinda wanna buy that too. Just to protect against magic, but I'm I'm not all that worried about it right now, so. Items. Medical herb. Everyone gets at least one. I wanna make sure everyone has a healing item on them. Even the healers now. I was making it so the healers didn't, but... Because, I mean, they have healing spells, and it's not like I'm really running out of MP in most of these fights. But... You never know. Alright. We still have five left. 
Alright, so now let's go talk to this man. The boat's not for sale, it's been the mayor's family for years. If you really want it, then you'll have to try talking to the mayor. Alright, so now I gotta go talk to the mayor. There, I was like, where is the mayor? You want to, yes, we want your boat. Sure, what favor do you want? Alright, so now I gotta find the guy's grandson. Because, you know, that's what heroes do. We find grandchildren. Alright, so now we're gonna look for... You. He's in the circus! He ran away to join the circus! Can I have a word with you, man? Formation! Oh, so now we, we've hit the cap of how many people that we can put in the force. Twelve members, including yourself. Party members marked with an O, or circle. No, we've got that. Victory conditions, defeat the marionette, clear in eight turns for the zombie charmer. Alright, so who do we not have in our fort? No, we've got every- so now, that's- that's it. We've got the max of who we can bring with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, we've hit- we've hit our cap. So from this point on, it's now gonna be... Alright, so this is the battlefield. We are in the circus tent. There's a group of three right next to us. Another group of three off to the right. And then, uh, the main battalion of six up north. Uh, I believe the one in the very center is the marionette. Either that or the one behind. Ah, it's Michelle! She was the one who was just kind of a bitch. Told us that we're gonna die. And now we're going to kill you. Oh, we're going to end you. Yes, Gort, end her. Oh, the legendary witch. Oh, and she's not even a stick around for the fight. Alright, let's look around the battlefield. Obviously, it's... not blocked off by chairs. That's terrain. So those are bats. We've got mannequins, bats, evil puppets, and the boss of the fight is the marionette. Then we've got two treasure chests up there that we'll send someone after as we get close to it. I'm really not all that concerned with most of these things. The evil puppets will probably be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but given the fact that I've I've spent a fair bit of time leveling, I'm not terribly worried. I, I am, however, not going to send my caster right out into the fray like that. That would have been bad, wouldn't it? Kin! Throw a spear! Kin! 
deciding that one hit is not enough. Takes out a mannequin. The bats really are uh, the bats are more of an annoyance than a threat nowadays because they'll do a, like a point or two of damage, but it's mostly their sleep effect that's aggravating. Hey, look! I get to surround you and beat the crap out of you with my dwarves. And, yeah, I probably should have got Arthur. I probably should have done something with Arthur other than use him. Level 4? What in the hell is this game thinking? Yeah, we, we're gonna back up Arthur, because he's gonna need it. Or he's gonna die. Oh, and they can cause poison, too! Fan-freaking-tastic. Hate! I, I will have to say, the status effects in this game are considerably uh, more prominent than one would like. And dead mannequin. Alright, I don't quite remember how much dam- I think Arthur did four points of damage, so I'm- I'm gonna leave that mannequin for him. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. That way I can keep the- the fight going. Alright, uh... We'll heal, and then we will detox. That way Lo gets the experience he needs. Oh, and they're gonna make a beeline? For my force now. Don't kill him. I just healed him. And he's poisoned. This is why I gave everyone healing items. Because then he'd get an attack and then he would die. And you don't have any magic yet, but he does learn magic. Kill the mannequin. Get some XP and level the hell up. Alright, I'm gonna move Gort over here, because Gort's got an axe that will just decimate the bats. I have to say, they did do a very good job of making sure weapons have specific attributes towards specific types of monsters. They did a fantastic job of that. I'm gonna keep my healer close to my... the rest of my force, really. Evil Puppet is basically already a reskin. We're already dealing with reskins. Alright, we need to kill things as we can. And see, that's the problem with this game, is when you're trying to do it goal-oriented, it, it's going to sacrifice... It, it's going to sacrifice levels, because my healers are just not getting enough... enough use. Yeah, 
Yeah, try to put Max to sleep. He's he's wearing a ring that that says no. I don't know where the hell they're going. I don't like it. Yeah, I know you took two damage because of the poison. The hell you can attack from a range! Oh, they have freeze level one. Oh, that's just not right. Well, we'll we'll fix that. Yeah, because there's a group of four of them together. Well, three of them together. <laughs> that just screams, uh, we want to, uh... I should have healed someone, is what I should have done. I forgot that that was Chris. I was thinking that was my archer. Um... Gong, heal my hero, because that's the last thing I want to happen in this fight. It does make me wonder if the original Shining Force 1 was this bad when it came to... When, when it came to, uh... Battle design. Just because something about this just screams that this is not... Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. That way it kills one of the bats. Because we don't want anything to survive. And of course the evil puppet is magic resistant. And that, that is another thing I will say. There are some really good points to this game. Magic users are resistant to magic. Having a magic user fight a magic user is kind of a losing battle. It seems, you know, melee units are considerably more geared toward dealing with them, which is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, go after Max. That's fine. Because... Oh, what? Weak sauce. And Henri's asleep. Oh well, we don't have to worry about freeze, so... But uh, I, I will say this, this fight music is also considerably better. Alright. Oh my god! Yeah, Arthur may not be staying in my force for long if I can't hit anything with him. Because everyone else is almost twice his level now. Alright. We got, what, eight turns to do this? We're just gonna go ahead and kill the bat. It's simple. We kill the Batman. All right, now we're gonna go up, get some treasures. I'm gonna go ahead and move all the way up because I know I can still heal Arthur from way back there with, because heal level two has an, an extended range. I love it. And yeah, she's asleep. She's gonna stay asleep for a while, so... What... do you have? And what turn order do we have? Alright, Lo can cast Detox on Arthur. Alright, so once Gort goes... That's when we're pretty much out of time. 
Alright, cure him of his affliction. And then I will probably end this episode here. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode here. So I will see you guys in the next installment, in which we continue beating the crap out of some creepy puppets. Uh, until then, later everyone.